for us in our roundtable today that we not only get out with inspiration, but collaboration takes action. Without action, there's no impact. Mitigation of our human impact on climate is, of course, one of the major drivers also of worldwide economic players. And the other uh, big uh, issue is, of course, to overcome dependencies from certain energy sources, like in the German case, the very, very unique case of high dependency on Russian gas. We don't only need investments, we also need skills. The energy transition and the hydrogen movement is in full force in countries like Morocco, Algeria, uh, Egypt, Dubai, the UAE. The region can deliver the lowest cost solar worldwide and the lowest cost wind. We foresee almost a newly added capacity of 20 gigawatts every year in the region for the next few years. We do the track and trace of all medicine in the UAE. We're building hospitals. We're building net zero real estate development. So we become an international holding group which started from waste connection. And here in Davos also we have discussions uh, with the uh, e-cubes of another collaboration that we are exploring, which is how we can co connect the MENA region and uh, Europe, the uh, Adriatic, of how we can have another uh, form of collaboration. And the project is Olive Green Adriatic Blue, which is about linking MENA countries with Adriatic uh, with Europe. We, we see that uh, this project can uh, help Europe to decarbonize. We have been exploring and identified uh, very interesting technologies so that we can bring affordable hydrogen to the region. The difference between the cost per megawatt hour of electric energy minus the cost per megawatt hour of thermal energy from natural gas has to be equal to the cost per ton of CO2. Thus, the fundamental problem today is not how to produce on hydrogen, but the availability of energy, which is where significant investments are needed. We are building the world's first transnational hydrogen valley, uh, a hydrogen valley endorsed by the European Commission, by the Clean Hydrogen Partnership, and with the full participation of the governments of the three territories uh, working across borders to create a real hydrogen economy with transactions flowing across borders. It is amazing that once our students understand the potential of hydrogen, and you can tell by the spark in their eyes, that in that moment, they become aware that they can be part somehow of the energy transition.